I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? So Kanye West is back in the news for all the wrong reasons once again. But unlike that time, this time it's involving children. Remember when Kanye founded that one school? Well, some people actually have their kids go there. And now he is being sued by two black women, teachers, for racial discrimination. Because Donda is not accredited, you really can't get any documents from the school to show where you've been. Because there's another story here that gives us an inside look and exposes all the downright dangerous practices and rules that Kanye had at this school. Stories that the teachers are telling are insane. From allegedly not wanting to teach black history to having students eat sushi and only sushi every day off the floor allegedly because apparently tables were banned. I'm not the first African-American woman at the school to be fired. It's like all African-American women at the school that stand up get tossed out. And that's just kind of how that goes. And yes, that is the exact kind of groundbreaking thinking that we can expect from a genius, right? That and not hiring nurses or even getting accredited because who needs grades when you know Kanye West, right? But again, the story is much deeper and we are going to get into all of that because some of what has been alleged can be considered downright dangerous again. But first, this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast with news you can use. They just tell you what happened and we give you three rules to live by to make sure that it never happens to you. Rule number one, the boss gets credit for the wins and the loss. If something go wrong, guess what? You the boss, you take the L. And Kanye West is learning this the hard way. We don't know anything about producing albums, but we know how to educate. These children's lives are in your hands. This vision, especially if you're trying to carry out the vision of your mother, is just not working right now. Now that Cecilia, one of the two teachers suing Ye, is claiming that they were unlawfully fired from his Simi Valley private school, Donda Academy. Attorneys for Cecilia Haley and her daughter, Chikari Byers, filed a lawsuit in LA County Superior Court. The lawsuit claims that the two teachers were fired in March in retaliation for reporting code violations. Donda Academy directors Brian Campbell, Allison Tidwell, and Chris Julian are also named as defendants. According to the complaint, West allegedly insisted on a variety of unusual rules and restrictions at the preschool through high school. This included, follow me guys, not allowing common items such as crossword puzzles, coloring sheets, eating utensils, colorful clothing, dinner world jewelry, chairs, and Nike or Adidas branded clothing they were given some yeezy merch but not grades again kanye west school here but all of these allegations paint a story that make kanye west look bad and look he may not have known everything that was going on in that school but the same way if the school had been a success we'd be clapping kanye up and calling him a leader of the culture but this brings us to rule number two if a chef won't eat his own food you shouldn't either what do I mean? According to reports, Jay talked to his ex-wife Kim K about their kids going there as well to the school. They didn't, or at least don't, which would tell you a lot of how much the own mother of his children trusts Kanye to educate his own goddamn kids. Now, I'm not saying that we should trust every baby mama in the world, or that we should be depending on the judgment of Kim K. All I'm saying is, if you ain't eating your food, I ain't either. What is being alleged continues to blow people's minds. Students were allegedly not allowed on the second floor of the school because because Kanye West reportedly is afraid of stairs and also not allowed outside and were locked in during the school day from the outside and forced to spend their lunch and recess time indoors. The complaint further alleges that the only meal available to students was sushi and that they were not allowed to bring home food and they were not given breakfast. Byers and Haley also claim that the school ignored serious bullying, which they define as physical violence. There was a female student that I think was like in the fifth grade that they considered dangerous and then nobody would do anything about. But things get worse because at this school owned by a black man whose mother was a black female educator, the black women who work there are accusing the school of like some pretty racist practices. Apparently, Donda Academy administrators use stereotypical language and discriminatory practices against Haley and Byers, the women that are suing, because they were the only two female African-American teachers at the school. The complaint also says that when Haley expressed her interest in contacting Kanye West, she was warned not to. Which, I mean, let's be honest, I'm pretty sure the people working there don't want you talking to the guy that owns the school and telling him that they're doing a terrible job. So there may be some credibility here. But it goes on because a Rolling Stone investigation from the time when the school first kind of was launched told us early on that Donda Academy was not accredited and families sending their children to the school had to sign NDAs. And again, red flag, because if I can't talk about what you're doing to my kid or if my kid can't talk about what is happening to her because she signed the NDA, 
that seems like not the kind of environment you should be sticking your child into. But rule number three, your team can make or break you. Now again, Kanye West was not there on the day today. It's not like Kanye West had a class at the school and was teaching or he was the principal or like he was grading papers, but he trusted a bunch of people who were not educators to educate children. According to the Rolling Stones investigation that we previously talked about, the principal and executive director hadn't previously held formal positions as educators, meaning that these people don't have any experience and were running a full school from K to 12 and kind of just winging it. And these were the people that parents were entrusting their children to and were paying what? $10,000 plus to have take care of the children and teach them. These black teachers complained about the fact that Kanye wasn't paying his bills, or at least the school wasn't. Both teachers claimed that the payments were untimely or erroneous, with some never coming and others being up to $2,700 short. Haley and Byers were ultimately terminated from the school in March, allegedly without explanation. Now Haley and Byers want to be compensated for things like unpaid wages, loss of earnings, deferred compensation, and other employment benefits. They also want to be compensated for emotional distress, reasonable medical expenses, punitive damages, prejudgment interest on lost wages and benefits, and the cost of filing the lawsuit. They're coming for everything that they feel that they deserve, and it sounds like they may have a bit of a case if of what they are alleging in this lawsuit suit is true and a lot of this sounds like it is coming from the team that Kanye had running all of this which again can make or break you rule number three it doesn't stop there because there were also alleged reports of like not having school nurses not keeping track of medications and not keeping them in safe and locked places just kind of have them in anywhere having expired medication next to medication is not expired and all of these things sound like small issues but they're not when we're dealing with children and there is a certain way that these things are supposed to be ran and on top of that these kids aren't getting grades the school is unaccredited and if they try to go anywhere else not only will they be behind but they won't even be able to prove that they were educated on anything because again no grades no transcript and whatever you're doing over there at Kanye West School is not gonna count. So you're paying tuition and your kid's gonna get a GED from this private school. And again, this brings us back to how your team can make or break you. Even though these other administrators and other people involved are being named as defendants in the lawsuit, unfortunately, Kanye West is gonna be the one, if this happens to go through, who is left having to pay that bag. Why? Because he's the boss, his name's on the building, and yeah, that's how things go. So let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is all true? Do you think it's not? Do you think it's a ploy? Do you think that there's some truth to it, but maybe Kanye West's not at fault? Do you think that he should have to pay this money? And do you believe the teachers and educators who are saying that these things happen? I watched the interview that TMZ did with one of the women that is suing and teachers that are suing Kanye West. And to be honest, the woman sounds like she knows exactly what she's talking about. She sounds very credible and doesn't seem like she's just looking for money and that she actually cares about the children that were left in her care. Hopefully this will resolve amicably and maybe even spur Kanye West to get the school accredited and do things right in order to keep it open and deliver on some of the promises that he made when he opened it. But let me know again what you think. I am Joe Stone and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast with news you can use. I am Joe Stone and I will see you the next one.